General Hospital spoilers tease that Cyrus Renault's nature hasn't changed. And Cyrus is about to see his chance to put Sonny Corinthos behind bars and cause a whole lot of chaos. Cyrus has a deep dislike for anyone who is happy and family-oriented, as Cyrus longs for a real family but has never been able to fulfill that dream. Sonny is walking a thin line as he faces growing trouble surrounding the murder of John Cates. Although the PCPD has yet to uncover his involvement, it's clear that his criminal shadow is still very much alive. The secrecy that has kept Sonny safe so far could collapse at any moment, and danger is closer than he realizes. Behind the scenes, Cyrus has been working quietly while still presenting himself as a reformed man and preacher. But Cyrus' transformation is only superficial. His actions tell a different story, and it appears he was involved in the events surrounding John Kate's death from start to finish. Unbeknownst to Sonny and the Corinthos family, Cyrus may have installed a hidden camera on the Quartermain boathouse, recording Sonny killing Kate's. This sinister move may have been planned in advance, with Cyrus always playing the long game. For Cyrus, this was a golden opportunity to get even with his longtime rival Sonny, and he was enjoying every moment. He was watching from the sidelines, waiting for the perfect moment to reveal what he knew. The Corinthos family's attempt to cover up Sonny's crimes only served to satisfy Cyrus. Every day they remained unaware of the true threat only made his eventual revelation all the more satisfying. At the center of this tangled web was Alexis Davis who suffered greatly due to the chaos surrounding Kate's death. Alexis was in prison for a crime she did not commit, while the real culprit, Sonny, walked free. Cyrus had previously allowed Alexis to suffer this unjust punishment without intervening. To Cyrus, Alexis was merely collateral damage in his larger scheme to bring down Sonny. He knew Alexis was innocent, but he silently watched her life fall apart, while hiding evidence that could have exonerated her. When Alexis was finally released from prison, many assumed that justice had been served, but the truth remained buried. In a shocking twist, it turned out that Cyrus was the one who retrieved the gun that could have cleared Alexis' name from the start. However, his motives were far from altruistic. Cyrus did not care about Alexis' freedom or her innocence. His goal was to use this evidence as a weapon, a bargaining chip, to deploy at the most opportune moment. Timing is everything to him, and he knows that keeping the gun and the secret it holds will give him leverage over Sonny when the time comes. But the gun is only part of Cyrus' plan. The real bomb is the hidden video footage he possesses, showing Sonny killing John Cates. This incriminating evidence could shatter Sonny's world and topple his entire criminal empire. Cyrus has always been the puppeteer, orchestrating every step of this masterful takedown. Once Alexis is released, Cyrus knows it's time to put his plan into action. He deliberately reveals just enough information to keep the authorities on Sonny's scent, while still holding on to the crucial video evidence. Unaware of the storm brewing around him, Sonny is taken by surprise when the video arrives. The footage is undeniable. It shows Sonny coldly pulling the trigger on Kate's, leaving no room for misunderstanding. In a matter of hours, everything Sonny had built came crashing down. The police wasted no time, and with the evidence now in the public domain, they arrested Sonny on the spot. For the Corinthos family, it was a nightmare come true. Despite all their efforts to protect Sonny, to shield him from the consequences of his actions, the truth finally caught up with him.